guys, it's Rach. We are at the start of September, which means it is time for August favourites. I'm going to start off with a skincare favourite. This is the Philosophy the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. It's a wash that has really, really tiny micro particles in it that exfoliate your skin. I really like using this in the morning because it just makes my makeup apply so much nicer after having that really light exfoliation. It doesn't really smell much like anything at all and it's just kind of like a creamy almost slightly watery wash with those exfoliating particles in it but because they're so fine you can use it every day it just gives you a really nice clean base to apply your makeup the next favorite i have is a brush and this one is from everyday minerals and i picked it up from iherb.com this one I use mainly for contouring. I can use it with either a bronzing powder or a contour powder and it just gives me a really nice defined cheek bone, I guess you would say, and then you can just sort of blend it up. You could also use it for highlighting. It's great for contouring down the bridge of the nose and I just sort of use it everywhere that I would contour. It's really, really soft um, and it just gives you a really nice look. I did buy this because it looks similar to the NARS Ita Kabuki brush, the number 21 one that a lot of people like. I haven't had a chance to try that one yet, hopefully I will soon and when I get them both I'll compare them. But I find this works really really well and if you would like a cheaper alternative maybe this one would be worth checking out. Before I move on to makeup favourites, I actually have a lash favourite, which is kind of random for me. These are the Adele Strip Lashes. This is the six pack of the Demi Pixie Lashes. I picked these up off Madame Madeline, which is a website which sells a whole heap of different brands of lashes. And this was around, I think, $15 or $16 for the pack of six. I have been wearing these quite a bit. I'm trying to wear false lashes more. I'm not actually wearing them today. I should have put them on. That was silly of me, but I'm trying to wear false lashes more so I can just practice applying them because I find the more you apply them, the easier it gets. These ones just look really, really nice to have clumps of thicker lashes and then um, smaller clumps. So they look really natural, but give you that really kind of I don't know, just really, they really open up your eyes and I just, I really, really like these lashes. My first makeup favourite is the Chanel Matte Lumiere Foundation. I wear the shade B30. I really, really like this foundation. It's a new purchase of mine. It gives medium coverage. It looks really, really nice on the skin. And I actually wore it without powder one day. I've been trying this crazy thing where I don't wear powder. I just use my, br my blush and my bronzer and whatever else, but I don't actually set my foundation with powder which is kind of scary for me but I did that with this and it actually wore quite well. My other face product favorite is this mineralized skin finish from MAC and it's in the shade Rio. This was from a recent collection however I think it's still out. I have seen this at some MAC counters so if you did want to pick it up I would head out now and see if you can find it. It's this really pretty pinky bronze color. I tend to use this almost like a bronzer so I'll contour my face with like a taupe colored contour powder and then I'll just apply this kind of in this general area here just to really warm up the area and then if I want a little bit of extra like pink or an extra blush then I might just put a little bit of a different kind of blush just on the apples of my cheeks but if I want this to be a little bit more pink I can concentrate it in the pink area or I can concentrate it in the bronze area and overall the mineralized skin finishes just give a really nice look to the skin. It has a little bit of a sheen but it's not over the top so I can wear it every day. For eyes, one of my favourites is the Makeup Geek Pigment in Afterglow. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today in the inner third and sort of in the inner corner and the inner lower lash line. And I just think it's just one of those products that it's great to have because you can add it to a lot of different makeup looks to really make it pop. Can't get the lid back on. It went everywhere. I also have a new mascara favourite and this is the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. This is a really inexpensive mascara and it's really great for volume. It has a thick brush with really, really small rubber bristles and they're kind of in clumps, like strips of three. I like this for volume. It gives me a ton of volume without going clumpy. It's not fantastic for length, so if you do need extra length, it would be a great mascara to pair with a lengthening one if you like to do like layer mascaras. Lips, I actually had two lipstick favorites, but one of them has completely disappeared and I have no idea where it is, so maybe I'll tell you guys about it next month. The second one that I had is a cream sheen from MAC, and this is in Hot Gossip. I have the limited edition packaging, but it is part of the permanent range. And this one, it, I got it back out of my collection because one of you guys actually mentioned it in my comments. And I had forgotten about it and you recommended it to me and I actually already had it. And this is the perfect kind of work lipstick for me. And I, I work in an office and I work five days a week. So 
I wear this a lot and it's just, it goes great with a lot of different looks. One other lip product that I wanted to mention is the Christian Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm. This, I don't know why it hasn't been in my favourites before. I think it's because I actually keep it in my bedside table rather than in my makeup area. It's just, I thought it would just be a lip balm, but it is so much more than a lip balm. It smells delicious. It just has a light rose scent. It goes on thick and creamy, but it's not sticky at all. It's not overpowering. The only downside about this is the price, but I tend to just use it at, at night. It's my special little luxury before I go to bed. I apply it and I just wake up with really soft lips. It really is the nicest lip balm. And as you can see, I'm almost completely out, which makes me very, very sad. And then my last two beauty favorites are nail polish. So they're completely different, but I've worn them both throughout this last month. The first is II Sailor from the Rimmel 60 Seconds range. This is a really dark navy blue, although sometimes it can almost look like a charcoal grey, depending on what light it's in. These have the really thick brushes, and I think they are some of the best wearing inexpensive nail polishes. These sometimes wear better than my high-end nail polishes. They're quite inexpensive. I find that it can last four plus days without chipping. It dries quite quickly, not in 60 seconds, but definitely fairly fast. And then on the opposite end of the scale, I have been loving this nail polish, which I picked up from David Jones. This is the OPI Loves David Jones color. This is a special edition one that was created for the David Jones 175th anniversary and for those of you outside Australia David Jones is a department store so a whole heap of different brands created limited edition products for David Jones so I think you may be only able to get it in store but I really really like it it's this perfect neutral pink color it's not too beige it's not too pink it's not too white it's just a really nice light pink it looks very sophisticated so those are my beauty favorites i have a couple of beauty fails for the month since i missed last month last month's beauty fail would have been this l'oreal two-step longwear uh, lip balm or lip lipstick i guess you would call it this is one of the ones that has the liquid lipstick and then you have the gloss over the top. I find these wear terribly on me. They do last a long time, but they dry and crack and then you can't get them off your lips. They had some pretty colors, but they were $30 a pop from memory. I'm pretty sure they're $29.95, which is just ridiculous for a lip product from the drugstore. The other fail that I'm kind of calling early, but from my experience, it's these Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow sticks, which is really sad because the Rimmel Scandalize Cold Kajals, the eyeliners, are amazing. Would highly, highly recommend them. They're my favorite at the moment from both high end and drugstore. But these, I found that the pigmentation wasn't fantastic. They're supposed to be 24 hour waterproof. Mine creased like crazy when I used them as a base. I put a pigment over the top of them and I had massive creases on my eyelid before lunchtime, which I have semi-oily eyelids. I'm not going to say that they're constantly oily, but I'm not going to say that they're, I don't have trouble with creasing. These didn't work well as a base at all. They left some color, but I had these lines and chunks of crease and it actually just looked kind of oily on my eyelids so that's kind of a shame because I was really hoping that these would work really well like the eyeliners do. So that's it for my beauty favorites and fails this month. For some random favorites the first I've been loving arm candy again. This is my current fave combination that I actually Instagrammed a picture of just the other day. These two ones here, these are from Big W from the Emerson collection. Really, really cute and inexpensive. And then this rose gold bangle and this um, bracelet here are from Pop Basic from the, this is from the Serendipity collection. I just love the look of these. I think it can really dress up any outfit, make it look really girly. And I'm definitely getting back into arm candy coming up to the spring and summer months. My junk food favourite, since I included one last month, I thought I'd include one again. This channel is not for fitspo, it's not for health. This, I am 100% a junk food lover. I'm not ashamed of that. So this month, I don't have one here to show you, but it would be the McDonald's McChamp chicken burger. I love that and I have to tell myself that I can't have more than one a fortnight because otherwise I'd have them like every second day and that's just bad. It's a chicken burger with like a crispy chicken coating and then it has lettuce and mayo and like a tangy tomato relish. It is delicious. If you haven't tried one, I highly recommend it. For music favorites, I've been loving Katy Perry's Raw. That song is just awesome. <laughs> I really 
really, really like that song. I've also been loving Sundress by Landon Austin. He has some awesome original songs. Like, his covers are good too, but I really, really enjoy his original songs, and you've probably heard them playing in the background of some of my videos recently. And finally, to finish up, I have a few book favorites for you. Two of them I actually have physical books. The first one here is Susan Mallory's Three Little Words. This is from the Fool's Gold series. I've mentioned all these books before in favorites. It's a favorite series of mine. I would highly recommend reading it. This was definitely my favorite of this particular lot of three. I loved it. I loved just the banter between the two main characters and their personalities. I wish they were real people because they were just awesome. So I really enjoyed that one. And then the other one that I have here in person or in the flesh is Just In Time by Addison Fox. This is the third Alaskan Nights novel. And this particular romance or coupling has been building up in the first two books so you finally got to see these two. It was a story of sort of young love and then they went separate ways and then they came back together. If you like that kind of storyline, which is one of my particular favourite kind of romance storylines, then I think you'll like this book and I would recommend checking out the Alaskan Night series. And then I had a few Kindle book favourites. The first was the Silence and Broken Silence little duo from Natasha Preston. I want to thank again one of you guys for recommending that to me I think in my last favorites video I really really enjoyed it so if that was you who recommended it to me thank you I also really enjoyed sometimes it lasts by Abby Klein you guys know that I'm a massive Abby Klein's fan I recommend all her books this was part of the Seabreeze series enough said just I recommend all Abby Glines' books. And my last book recommendation is Present Perfect. And I have to thank Amy for that. Amy and I read a lot of the same books and she actually recommended this book to me. And I absolutely loved it. It was an emotional roller coaster. It literally had you on the edge until the very, very last pages. I didn't know where to laugh or whether to cry. I basically spent Sunday morning reading the second half of this and spent the entire Sunday morning bawling my eyes out. But if you like happy endings, this has a Rachel approved ending. So I think you'll enjoy enjoy it. So that is it. They are all my August favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, if you create favorites videos, please feel free to leave me a video response or just let me know in the comments below what products you've been loving and if you would recommend them to me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And please check me out on all my social media. I have them all linked in the description box below, as well as a list of all the products that I mentioned today. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I will see you all next time. Bye. And you're gonna hear me more. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I'm gonna stop singing now because I'm tired.